Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at whether the 10 14 days for today's final video day 10 will take us to the 13th of June and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SLG GFS and ECM on top of maybe on trying a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the best feature at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us um more or less to the end of uh, June now. So I should get time that for you in a moment just to say that first the video today was our 6 a.m uk weather forecast we've also released the ecm 42 day forecast and weekend forecast which is a bit of a classic today as well so check out all of today's other content thank you so much everybody for doing that like share and subscribe on the videos and thank you so very much everyone for doing that thank you so much to all of you for your donations and support for rainbows hospice we've been raising money and awareness for rainbows they provide vital care for uh, babies children and young people in the east midlands region they're based in loughborough i'm in northampshire they are my local children's hospice so uh, we've been raising money for rainbows in memory of my mum mrs p this day last week um was the first anniversary of when she passed and we did a charity live stream epic 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 probably the, uh, the best thing I've ever done at Gazworth is in all the 11 years I've been uh, doing this. I thank you all so very much again for a wonderful, wonderful live stream. So we're still plugging away at the Just Giving page. We're now at 1,853. So less than 150 to go to get 2K. That is where we're trying to get to. So if you haven't yet donated to uh, Rainbows, you can afford to do so. Then please check out our Just Giving page. The link is in the description. And, uh, yeah, have a look. You know, have a look at the Just Giving page. And uh, give us a donation if you could do that. We thank you so very much, everybody, um, for doing that. We're so close to uh, 2K now. So it's um, unbelievable. It's beyond my wildest dreams. I never in a million years but we get anywhere close to 2k for for rainbows and i thank you so much everybody uh for doing that so check out rainbows hospice the website is uh the link to websites in the description and also the link just giving in the description as well thank you so very much everybody uh for uh, doing that okay let's crack on with 10 14 day making a start off central temperature for ct is currently sitting at 13.2, which is just under one degree below 61.99 average as visual to yesterday to the 2nd of uh, June. So a little bit cool average just for the opening day or so of the month. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles in a couple of weeks. We're looking at London today. So the red line is a first year upper air temperature average for London starting off. Above average at the moment, we're, what's going on at the moment is that we're having warm days but cool nights offsetting. So that's the reason that CT isn't particularly high, despite that the upper air temperatures are above average. The trend is upwards over the first week, 10 days of June. So actually it looks like things will become quite warm as we go uh, into the second week of June. You know, so potentially see the temperature um, our upper air temperature is rising to between 10 and 15 degrees at 850 HPM. For a couple of days up next weekend, so late next weekend and early into the following week, we might get the temperature close to 30 degrees down the south for the first time uh, this season, which I think is where, more or less where we classify the weather has to, gone from very warm to hot. So we might see our first hot days um, by next weekend. After that, moving into the middle part of June, remember the second half of March, staying quite close to average, although there's a little bit of scatter within that, and slight cooling changes in evidence as well, as we go into the middle part of um, June, but nothing overly dramatic. Certainly in the next week to 10 days, the trend is a warming one. Lots of dry weather over the next week to 10 days as well, just a little bit sh more showering maybe in the second week of month, and uh, on through the middle part of the second half of June uh, as well. So just a little bit more uh, showery by then. But before that, loads of dry weather to come in the uh, next week to 10 days, definitely. Temperature anomalies from the 3rd to 10th of June, above average for Scotland and Ireland. Again, struggling to get the temperature above average across England, where despite warm days, we will continue to have quite cold nights, which will offset those warm days. And so that's the reason, despite the upper air temperatures looking really quite encouraging for above average temperatures on the surface, it's not quite that straightforward. Precipitation anomalies from the 3rd to 10th of June, they're coming out significantly drier than average as well. 
latest ripper map from Earth, northschool.net shows high pressure is in control in the ascendancy, sitting to the northwest of Scotland and bringing the wind in, wind in from an east or a northeasterly uh, direction yet again today. Right, all important chart data then. This is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Tuesday. High pressure is dominating weather, high and dry. And that's a scenario through next week. But what happens when we get to next weekend is that the high pressure just repositions a little bit, becomes more focused on Scandinavia with this cutoff low uh, to the west of Biscay and Portugal. We start to use turn wind from like an east north easterly to an east south easterly. That's an important difference because it starts to bring warmer air up from France and uh, off the continent as well. This isn't all that far removed from a pattern we had last summer, to be honest. Last summer, when we got to 40 degrees, for example, we have the cut-off lows to the west of Biscay and Portugal uh, quite regularly. We have the high pressure over the continent, sometimes Scandinavia, sometimes Germany. And between the two, that allows the wind to come in from a southerly southeast direction. Now, we're nowhere near getting to 40 degrees, so don't be running, <laughs> running away with that idea. Nothing anywhere near as dramatic as that is on the way in the foreseeable future. But I'm just, you know, mentioning that this isn't all that far removed, to be honest, um, from the pack we had last summer. And obviously, if it carries on into July and August, when the weather generally is going to be a lot, uh, even hotter than it is now, then, then you know, we've got to uh, keep a close eye on things. I can't. Again, high pressure over the top of the country on Tuesday. Lots of dry, warm flight conditions. That carries on throughout next week as well. Into next weekend, still the same broad pattern. Low pressure is out in the Atlantic. High pressure is over the continent. Winds have gone from northeast, easterly, easterly to like a, a southeasterly, pulling in from off the continent. Look at the upper air temperature for plus 15 Celsius ice firm is lurking close to northern parts of France. There potentially pushing up uh, some uh, very warm, perhaps even locally quite hot air by next weekend. The GFS midnight run again with that high pressure dominating the weather on Tuesday into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's high pressure all the way on into next weekend as well. That high pressure is maintained a little bit less of a south easterly flow possibly. So if the upper air temperatures aren't quite as warm with the GFS compared to ICON, for example with plus 15 Celsius iceberg kept over France as opposed to the south coast. But nevertheless, it's still mostly dry and uh, warm or very warm in most parts of the country. And the high pressure fest carries on into the extended as well. Just right at the very end, maybe a hint of a bit of a weakening of uh, high pressure. So possibly turning a bit more showery by then. But of course, that's 19th June. It's a really long way off. This is the temperature forecast based on that GFS midnight run. Maximum temperatures for Thursday. So about where we are now, 18 to 22, 23, 24, something like that. A little bit warmer for Friday. We might get the temperature to the uh, mid-20s, around 25, 26 maybe. Uh, Saturday, next Saturday, temperature a week away. Um, then we could be seeing the temperature itself going towards the upper 20s Celsius. So, so why the in the 20s? Central northwestern areas like in the low to mid-20s, in the south, mid to upper 20s. So it's going for 27. You might be able to lift that up by a degree or so as well. And that carries on into Sunday as well and possibly into Monday as well with widespread temperatures in the mid-20s. Some places are going to the upper 20 Celsius. We're not going to be all that far away from 30 degrees, I would have thought, in uh, some parts of the country by Monday. That's the 12th of June, based on the GFS midnight run. This is the GFS 6 z Again, we've got high pressure dominated weather on Tuesday. That carries on into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday as well. And we're pulling up more of a southerly south on the 6 z So uh, temperature, you know, temperature should be warmer as well by next weekend on the 6 z compared to the midnight run. It continues right way up to day 10 and beyond it with high pressure sat over and to the north of the country just right at the very end a hint of a fungi low maybe start to try and move up from um france but again that is a uh, is a long 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 way off um this would be a uh, temperature forecast based on the gfs 6 and again we see temperatures on uh thursday widely sort of low mid 20 celsius between upper teens to low to possibly mid 20s celsius a little bit warmer for friday and a bit warmer still on saturday widespread temperatures getting to mid 20 celsius by next saturday that's sunday mid to upper 20 celsius possible across some southern and eastern parts of the country and that's monday by then looking quite hot the model is going for 29 in london 28 like norwich 
Um, that's for the Mary Cambridge, maybe at the Botanical Gardens again. Uh, might be able to add a degree or two onto that. So, yes, we are not all that far at all from 30 degrees and our first genuinely hot weather of this summer by next weekend and into the following week. Wow, wow, wow. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Worthies. We thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, with that high pressure in control on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <laughs> high pressure fest all the way. Wind pulling in to more of a southerly southeasterly. So, you know, the, the warm, dry weather goes on and it gets warmer as the air comes in off the continent as well. By the way, we only just put on like um 10 subscribers now, I think, to get ourselves to 15.9k. We are very, very close to 15.9k now. Please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Tell your friends and fans to subscribe as well. Make sure you tell friends about, about rainbows, hospice and uh, the money that we are raising for rainbows. They provide vital care for children, young people and babies with uh, life limiting and terminal conditions in the East Midlands region. Thank you so much everyone. ECM again, the high pressure is dominating weather throughout next week. ECM most bullish as well, with turning things really warm by next weekend. The high pressure, the way it's aligned with the low pressure in the Atlantic and the high pressure in Scandinavia really is pulling in the wind from like a southerly, southeasterly direction. A bit of a thundery low starts to appear over parts of France. Well, look at the upper air tension. Get the plus 15 cells ice firm into the south and the southeast. That's Monday the 11th of June. Uh, plus 15 cells ice firm into the southeast uh, by then. That could get the temperature to 30 degrees. And that carries on into Monday as well. Widespread temperatures between 10 and 15 degrees at 8, 10, 58, 8, 15 Celsius in the far south, southwest. I have emphasized extreme heat is actually still over North Africa, though. So if anybody's worried about it, because a lot of people don't like extreme heat, what happened last summer. No, but plus 20 Celsius ice firm um, is uh, across uh, North Africa. And plus 25 Celsius ice firm. Um, across North Africa as well, not even into like the southern part of Spain yet. So we should wait and see uh, what happens with that, of course. But for the time being, extreme heat is being kept, uh, you know, over Africa where you expect it to be at this time of the year. Uh, that's day 10, and again, all looking very dry and uh, warm, I have to say. Um, no, not much change there either. Upper air temperatures, you know, they are in the very warm to locally hot type category. Extreme heat still, though, down across northern Africa. This is from Weather Online. This is showing the temperature forecast based on that ECM run. So, uh, this is for Saturday. Now, widespread uh, oranges across the map there. That temperature's into the mid to possibly up 20 Celsius. A little bit of red appearing. That's getting towards 30 degrees when you see the red uh, appearing on these charts. That's going to be, let's see where we are. So, that, we'll go there, there, there. that's going to be Sunday. Uh, again, a little bit of red this time down towards London. So, Sunday, probably not all that far away from getting the temperature towards 30 degrees there. Otherwise, widely again with those orange colours into the mid to upper 20 Celsius. Um, let's try that. Now we'll try that. Okay, try that. And uh, this is Monday, Monday 12th of June. And by then, we see more widespread red colours. So Monday 12th of June, that could be the day that we do actually hit 30 degrees. So that could happen quite widely there uh, across much of uh, England and Wales too. So yes, definitely a warm-up is taking place at the end of next week, into next weekend, and on into the beginning of the following week. This is the precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tometeo.com. Loads and loads, loads of dry weather uh, over next week, 10 days. Just a few thundery showers blurred through the north and west. As we get towards days 7, 8, 9, 10, but basically high pressure in the ascendancy. This is the BWX on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. From the Icelandic Med Office, it gets to the 13th of June. 23 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure sitting over to the east of the country. Winds coming around that from a southerly or southeasterly direction. So uh, very warm, dry, potentially quite hot by that point. That includes patrol and the operation run. 20 members of the ECM.
on Sobs again with high pressure in control, a little bit more, a little bit more of an easterly type flow, could be slightly cooler with that, and then eight with high press centre towards Iceland. Again, mostly dry, could just be a little bit more northeasterly with the wind flow. So just how warm it's gonna get. Uh, around days 9, 10, you know, you've got to wait and see. And to time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 18th of June, 18 members of the ECM ensembles have high pressure around Greenland and Iceland. Around that, we bring the wind in from an east or a north east direction. Main drive could be a little bit cooler. 14, though, big change, drop of low pressure dropping in across the northwest west of Europe as high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic. That could turn things cooler and more showery, 11 with high pressure right over top of the country, again mostly dry and warm, and then 8 with low pressure on Scandinavia, high pressure in the Atlantic, once more we see a lot of dry and fine weather with that, just bring wind in for the North Atlantic, so it could be uh, a little bit cooler and pressure, this is the the, uh, these are the um, 500 millibar high economy charts um, from the CFSB2, uh, broken down into weekly pairs. I've lost my script, haven't I? Uh, so, <laughs> you know what we're looking at anyway, this CFSB2 uh, week clears. Week 1 takes us from the 3rd uh, to the 9th of June with high pressure over and to West Coast, mostly dry, high, high and dry, you know, high and dry in the week ahead. Then we go through to uh, week 2. Which will get us uh, from the 10th to the 16th of June. Again, high pressure in the North Atlantic, low pressure to our south. Mostly dry and fine. Could be a little bit cooler. Winds in from the North East. And the South might be starting to turn, try, it might be starting to try and turn a little bit more showering in the South and the Southwest. Week 3 is going to be the 17th to 24th. 3rd of uh, June. Low pressure then coming in from off the Atlantic combined with high pressure towards Iceland and also Greenland. And then uh, week four will be the 24th to the 30th of June with some high pressure just to our south, southwest, low pressure in the Atlantic. And so, you know, it, it looks like you're trying to weaken the high pressure. It looks like trying to turn a little bit more showery there. Take the half of June. It's not especially convincing, I have to say. And in reality, I wouldn't be overly surprised if the high pressure just hung on. But of course, we shall see. And we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe, and show share everybody about drop a comment, let us know what you think about this little bar video. Don't get to your friends about gas levels. Ten subscribers will get us now to 15.9k. Please give us a sub. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. It's amazing, incredible. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And tell your friends and family about Rainbow's Hospice. Please, they provide amazing, wonderful care for ch uh, for children, for babies, for young people with life-limiting terminal conditions in the East Business region. And if you can afford to do so, please consider giving a donation to our Just Giving page for Rainbow's. We're trying to get it to 2k, and uh, if we can get to 2k, that would be absolutely Absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, everybody. Doing that. Links are in the description with the video, of course. Right, that's it now. I'll just tell you what's coming up on the channel tomorrow. Uh, so, we're going to have the uh, 6M UK. Weather forecast will be a day to today. In between those two, we've got the first autumn update um, coming up. So, wow, 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 wow. We only released our summer forecast last weekend. The long range bandwagon is already rolling on to um, autumn. So, autumn updates on the way. Update number one tomorrow. I shall see you maybe for that for this video though for today's video for all of today's content thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of this sunny Saturday maybe have a barbecue it's FA Cup day today the United Derby so maybe watch out and have a barbecue outside in the sunshine you have a great rest of your Saturday and uh, for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching